of the president's personal attorneys who told Priebus he was already working on it. By late June, several advisors recalled receiving media inquiries that could relate to the June 9th meeting. Section 2, the president directs communications staff not to publicly disclose information about the June 9th meeting. Communications advisors Hope Hicks and Josh Raphael recalled discussing with Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump that the emails were damaging and would inevitably be leaked. Hicks and Raphael advised that the best strategy was to proactively release the emails to the press. On or about June 22nd, 2017, Hicks attended a meeting in the White House residence with the President, Kushner, and Ivanka Trump. According to Hicks, Kushner said that he wanted to fill the President in on something that had been discovered in the documents he was about to provide to congressional committees involving a meeting with him, Manafort, and Trump Jr. Kushner brought a folder of documents to the meeting and tried to show them to the President, but the President stopped Kushner and said he did not want to know about it shutting the conversation down. On June 28, 2017, Hicks viewed the emails at Kushner's attorney's office. She recalled being shocked by the emails because they looked, quote, really bad, unquote. The next day, Hicks spoke, spoke privately with the president to mention her concern about the emails, which she understood were soon going to be shared with Congress. The president seemed upset because too many people knew about the emails, and he told Hicks that just one lawyer should deal with the matter. The president indicated that he did not think the emails would leak, but said they would leak if everyone had access to them. Later that day, Hicks, Kushner, and Ivanka Trump went together to talk to the president. Hicks recalled that Kushner told the president the June 9th meeting was not a big deal and was about Russian adoption but that emails existed setting up the meeting. Hicks said, he, Hicks said she wanted to get in front of the story and have Trump Jr. release the emails as part of an interview with, quote, softball questions, unquote. The president said he did not want to know about it and that they should not go to the press. Hicks warned the president that the emails were, quote, really bad, unquote, and the story should be, quote, massive, unquote, when it broke. But the president was insist insistent that he did not want to talk about it and said he did not want details. Hicks recalled that the president asked Kushner when his document production was due. Kushner responded that it would be a couple weeks, and the president said, quote, then leave it alone, unquote. Hicks also recalled that the president said Kushner's attorney should give the emails to whomever he needed to give them to, but the president did not think they would be leaked to the press. Rafael later heard from Hicks that the president had directed the group not to be proactive in disclosing the emails because the president believed they would not leak. Section 3. The president directs Trump Jr.'s response to press inquiries about the June 9th meeting. The following week, the president departed on an overseas trip for the G20 summit in Hamburg, Germany, accompanied by Hicks, Rafael, Kushner, and Ivanka Trump, among others. On July 7, 2017, when the president was overseas, Hicks and Rafael learned that the New York Times was working on a story about the June 9th meeting. The next day, Hicks told pres the president about the story, and he directed her not to comment. Hicks thought the president's reaction was odd because he usually considered not responding to the press to be the ultimate sin. Later that day, Hicks and the president again spoke about the story. Hicks recalled that the president asked, asked her what the meeting had been about, and she said she'd been told the meeting was about Russian adoption. The president responded, quote, then just say that, unquote. On the flight home from the G20 on July 8, 2017, Hicks obtained a draft statement about the meeting to be, to be released by Trump Jr. and brought it to the president. The draft statement began with a reference to the information that was offered to the Russians in setting up the meeting. I was asked to have a meeting by an acquaintance, oh, quote, I was asked to have a meeting by an acquaintance I knew from the 2013 Miss Universe pageant with an individual who I was told might have information helpful to the campaign, unquote. 
Hicks again wa wanted to disclose the entire story, but the president directed that, that the statement not be issued because it said too much. The president told Hicks to say only that Trump Jr. took a brief meeting and it was about Russian adoption. After speaking with the president, Hicks texted Jump Trump Jr. a revised statement on the June 9th meeting that read, quote, it was a short meeting. I asked Jared and Paul to stop by. We discussed a program about the adoption of Russian children that was active and popular with American families years ago and was since ended by the Russian government, but it was not a campaign issue at that time and there was no follow-up. Hicks's text concluded, quote, are you okay with this? Attributed to you, unquote. Trump Jr. responded by text message that he wanted to add the word primarily before, quote, discussed, so that the statement would read, quote, we primarily discussed a program about the adoption of Russian children, unquote. Trump Jr. texted that he wanted the change because, quote, they started with some Hillary thing, which was BS, and some other nonsense, which we shot down fast, unquote. Hicks texted back, quote, I think that's right, too, but boss man worried it invites a lot of questions. Ultimately defer to you and your attorney on that, B BC, because I know it's important, and I think the mention of a campaign issue adds something to it in case we have to go further. Unquote. Trump Jr. responded, quote, if I don't have it in there, it appears as though I'm lying later when they inevitably leak something, unquote. Trump Jr.'s statement adding, 